morning everyone. So it's my second day here in Malapascua and today we're going to a sandbar island called Kalangaman Island. A lot of you guys uh, told me to go there so it turns out that yeah we are going there today and I think it was 800 pesos per person but then you gotta pay um, 500 to enter the island if you're a foreigner. I think it's 150 to enter the island if you're a local. So that's just around like $25 per person I guess to do the whole tour. There is food included as always. So we just finished up having breakfast now and we're gonna head there. Kalangaman Island it took like one hour and 30 minutes to get here. We had to rent some snorkel masks, so that's not included in the fee. So that was 150 pesos per person, which is just around three dollars. The island looks like it's really big. There's loads of boats coming here, so I was kind of worried it was going to be really busy. But I guess since it's so big, it's kind of empty really. And right now we're at this part here. There's supposed to be loads of corals and stuff, so we're going to be doing some snorkeling. Your mask sucks, right? Yeah, yeah. If you can bring your own, it's yeah. better because we've been renting in a lot of places. And yeah, they're like bad masks, like water entering the mouthpiece. I've had that before as well, so that's the only problem whenever you you don't bring your own, right? You don't really know what you're gonna get. Mine's okay though, so she can borrow mine later on. I think now we're just gonna like walk around the island a bit, explore the island a little bit. Snuffling was pretty good though. A few, quite a few little fish around. We're now going to like the iconic spot, which is what you see in all the photos. Basically like a, just a long strip uh, of sand. You can see here, it goes on and on down there. Over here is more like palm trees and stuff. What do you think, Carol? It's nice. It is nice, different. The ocean color here is absolutely beautiful. Way clearer than where we snorkeled before. See here you got awesome different shades of blue. Light going into dark. Very beautiful place. Vision like that. It's like a perfect edge. I'll give you those panoramic views now. 360. We're at like the far point now of the island. You can see super unique views here. 
Canada. Extremely beautiful, this island. It's probably a good time to get the drone out as well, because uh, yeah, the view from the drone must just be amazing. What do you think of this place so far? Oh, it's amazing. I've never seen different shades of blue like this before. Yeah, I don't know what, what's in there. The darker Did blue? Go deeper all of a sudden? I don't know. Try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so as expected, the drone shots were just incredible. The Philippines so far has just been amazing to fly the drone. I mean, any drone pilots out there would just love to be in a place like this, especially here with all like the different shades and different colors and everything that you get, it's just amazing. And yeah, it's just been interesting. You go to these places, you know it looks good, and then you fly from above and then it just looks way more incredible. And a lot of you guys have enjoyed my drone shots so far, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's actually like four other people started flying the drone when I flew mine. So yeah, they all they all love it here. And the cool thing about this trip is we actually, like I said before, we have like four hours here. So we've been here like an hour now. And um, yeah, we just got so, so much time to just relax and chill out now. After we have lunch, we're probably gonna head to the south side because from the drone shots, it looked pretty cool down there. So yeah, we'll explore that, that part later on. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> like, look at that. How is that real? Light and then to dark. Whoa, it does get deeper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went to check out what the how it went to dark blue. It just sinks all of a sudden. The guy said that yeah, it's not it's not it's normal around here. He said strong current, right? Yeah. Yeah, I almost lost my life. <laughs> so we're gonna head back now and get some lunch. Hopefully they they'll have some nice fish dishes like they do on all the other boat tours. Food is served, so I got rice, noodles, and some fresh fish. Cal, you just got what? Some chicken. Chicken, yeah. Tasty? Yeah, it's good. Good? Yeah, but just hard to eat with a spoon. With a spoon. <laughs> Beautiful. The food was good as expected, and you can actually camp on this island. You can stay overnight. I saw loads of tents here in the middle. I asked the guy how much it was, and I think he said it was 300 pesos like six dollars to rent a tent but then you got to pay like a 250 fee to stay overnight and i think that's on top of the boat cost so yeah it does get a bit pricey but it'd be an awesome place to sleep that's for sure me and carol actually wanted to do that but we just didn't get around to it not here just 
camp on any beach but yeah we'll probably do that at some point maybe in another country we'll do that and then as i mentioned before we're gonna head to the south side of the island now there's like a little path there to get there so let's see what's down there looks like on this side you have these little triangle huts on either side so i guess you can stay here as well probably be a bit more expensive but that would be an awesome experience let's do it carol <laughs> Touchdown. Touchdown, Kalangaman. There we go, check this out. So we found our spot to be lazy. Pretty much no one here on this side since it's kind of a bit further away from the, the boats. And I think we have about an hour and a half. So this tour, yeah, it's four hours, like I said. So it's kind of like an hour and a half, then you um, have lunch and then another hour and a half and yeah that's pretty much it so we didn't even bother bringing the snorkel things so we just want to lie down and do nothing for a bit heading back to the boat now our time has run out and I actually came to this island because of a subscriber a lot of you give me recommendations on places to go and uh, yeah one guy mentioned this place and I checked it out and now I'm here so thank you whoever you are <laughs> and yeah like I said we're getting back on the boat and we're gonna head back to Malapascua but we're probably still gonna chill out on the beach there a different beach to, than what you saw yesterday so yeah stick around for that Back in Malapascua now and the beach we're at is called Bounty Beach. It's like the main beach on the south. Really beautiful beach, super peaceful, water is really calm as well. The only issue is this is where all the boats are for the boat tours. You can see here there's just millions and millions of boats everywhere. And at certain times of the day it's actually hard to find space even near the sand because all the boats are like right on the, on the sandy part but still good either way. And this is the beach where you have all like the dive schools, stuff like that, and um, lots of restaurants, resorts. So yeah, this is like the main part right here. <laughs> I don't even need a mask to see like the Oh, okay, it's so clear. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the ground, right? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> See all the shells, you shell collecting. I was gonna say this is as peaceful as it gets, but then we got some noisy motorboat. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Very chill over here. Now I can say it, this is as peaceful as it gets. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Just got herself a little bracelet here. Th th those kids over there were selling them. Really little kids, right? How old yeah. do you think they were? Like three or four. Yeah, three yeah. or four. But I heard that they sell it and the money goes to the, the their school. The school, right? Yeah, so we thought it'd be a good idea. Three dollars. We could have probably got it cheaper, but we wanted to give them money, right? <laughs> they were cute. Going to close the video out now, not going to do anything more today. It's been a long day in the sun so we're just tired and we're just going to go out now and book our tour for tomorrow. We've decided we're going to do a snorkeling tour. 
not sure how much it is yet but yeah we're gonna be doing that tomorrow because tomorrow is our last day here in Malapasqua we booked three nights so yep the snorkeling trips coming up so stay tuned for that as always drop a like on this video to support me subscribe if you like to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one